is a major milestone, and I'm glad we're talking about it because I think investors are looking at the market again. You know, we could poo-poo it and say, in terms of technicals, it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal because we're having a conversation. And we talked about it on our show at 5 o'clock. We'll talk about it now. Names that have worked, I think, continue to work. Home Depot's been a monster for a decade. I think it's a monster for the next decade. AT&T reported today. Uh, John Ledger from T-Mobile said not a great quarter. I think it was. I think that stock moves higher. So there are names out there, despite the big moves to the upside, mm -hmm. I still think go higher from here. I'm sitting at home and I'm listening to that laundry list of stocks that you say to buy, and I'm thinking, am I buying at the top, Pete? What do you say? You're saying? probably feeling like you are, but you're not. I still okay. think there's plenty of room. I like what we've heard through earnings season so far. I think financials still have plenty of upside. I've started to see even more return back in the buying and the options in some of these financial names, including some of those European financials, Deutsche Bank just yesterday. So we're seeing it in some of the financials. We're seeing it in technology. I think because of that, even though it feels like it's the top, it's not. It's just the highs of yesterday. Tech is going to be key. We've got a whole slate of tech earnings. Are we going to get enough from them to keep us at these record levels? Yeah, I think as long as we hold these levels, uh, you know, we, we pass the baton uh, time and time again from utilities to, uh, to industrials to energy back to financials. Tech is going to be a winner, but cybersecurity, I think, is going to be a winner. Watch FireEye. I think it's going to be an important stock. I know, I know I'm not breaking any ground here, mm -hmm. but FireEye, I think it goes higher. You know what really led the Dow uh, to 20,000, Dan, since the election? Goldman not you. Goldman Sachs. <laughs> 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 I actually think that makes a really good point when you think uh -huh. about just in the last two months how much heavy lifting Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan did in the Dow. Right. Here's the thing. Those stocks have consolidated. They all reported they were early in this Q4 earnings season. Uh, Apple, you know, this is one of the biggest stocks in the Dow, and it's got about 9, 10% to go from its prior highs. If they That's say you anything, go to value here's the thing. Value? If they say enough on their call on January 31st, the stock is going to go higher. 20000 doesn't mean that you have to go buy this market tomorrow. It means reaffirmation of long-term market theory, and I think that's fantastic. People should be fired up about it, but you don't have to go buy it tomorrow. But what's been working has been value. Tomorrow morning, Speak louder what do you look him. at first? First thing I look yes. at, the Pete DeGeneres been talking about. How long have you been talking about financials? Quite a while. Quite a while. Multiple you look years. at the, looks yeah. at XLF. You want individual stocks? Look at Goldman Sachs. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.